Hi guys, thanks again for visiting us at RS Agriculture. So as you can see here, we had an incident today at our farm. So this is actually a bioflock shrimp farming system that is located at our crab farm. It's a small system that we use to test out a challenge study. So as you can see here, we had a very high mortality of shrimp in this tank. And in this episode, I'll be talking extensively on what happened and what would have resulted in this mass mortality. So a few weeks ago, we have actually posted a video on our shrimp challenge test to see that how does the Bioflox system is able to protect the shrimp against viruses originating from mud crabs. So what we have done in this setup is to reuse the water that we have used at least twice in a crab farm and use it to culture shrimp because crab is known to be one of a, a carrier for shrimp diseases. So as two weeks ago, it was all still doing fine. As you can see, the shrimp is quite healthy. But what happened today was that we actually came into the farm and saw mass mortality throughout the system. And this is evident by the amount of shrimp that are dead and floating above the water surface. So as you can see over here. So what our guys are actually doing over at the moment is to scoop out all of the dead shrimps that we find in this tank so this tank is actually being stocked with 2,000 shrimps. And now we'll just see how many of them is actually being affected. So you can see that they have already decomposed and floated up to the surface as they are already red in color. This probably suggests that they have actually died, not last night, but probably a day earlier. As this is not our main shrimp farming culture setup, so this tank is more of an afterthought whereby we do not have an assigned personnel on this tank. So we actually do not measure the water quality on a daily basis. But due to this event, we've decided to measure the water quality that we find in this system. And you can see pH is at 7.5, but ammonia and NO2 have actually risen to the 5 ppm range, which is not normal in a bioflock system that is well managed. You can see alkalinity is pretty high as well. It's at 350 ppm, which suggests denitrification might be happening because we have actually not topped up with any sodium bicarbonate for some time. And you can also see dissolved oxygen is actually very low. So what we're going to do next is to remove the aeration system and to use a big, bigger neck to try to look for any surviving shrimps. So you can see from the netting over here, of course, we still get a lot of dead shrimps that are sinked into the bottom as you can see they're a bit whiter in color it's probably suggests that they have not died as long as their counterparts and we can also get some live shrimps in the systems as well right despite having a very low dissolved oxygen so this is actually quite evident of a bioflock system that is crashing as a result we see this very low dissolved oxygen level so these are some of the remaining shrimps that are in the culture system so you can see that they do not have any deformities or any lesions ab above them so suggesting that they are not affected by fibro or ems but they do have a reddish gut that suggests sort of cannibalism between other uh, shrimps as well so you can see these are some of the shrimps uh, more of them that are being harvested as we are trying to scoop out the tanks so to understand what has actually happened uh, that caused this mortality is actually during the CNY period um, because there was no monitoring on the flock amount on the bioflock so we were just feeding feed and molasses on a daily basis. So what tends to happen is that the flock will tend to accumulate over time and if you do not measure it and control it, what will happen is it will start to snatch oxygen away from the system and this is how you get a mass mortality situation whereby all of your shrimp in your tank suddenly die and some of them will actually lose their head so it suggests that some degree of cannibalism is still present so this had this problem actually did not occur just today because yesterday i already started to saw some mortality of floating shrimp inside the system and only yesterday we started to run the settling tank system and this is the accumulated sludge that we get at the bottom by running the system for a day, you can see that it's actually very, very thick already, which suggests that the setting tank was not run previously and only just run last night. But in fact, that was not sufficient 
to save the shrimps from low oxygen environment as evident by the mortality today. So you can see even by scooping into the center part of the tank, we still are getting a lot of dead shrimps and most of them are missing their head and already decomposed as you can see over here. A lot of them, are mainly everybody is missing their head, uh, suggesting some form of uh, cannibalism. So what tends to happen in a low oxygen environment is that the smaller shrimps that are able to withstand a lower oxygen environment because they are being small, they will tend to feast on the previously bigger shrimps as evident by the ones that have lost their head. So this is uh, how and what will go wrong if you do not manage your bioflock efficiently. So you can see that by not managing the flock in the system by using and operating a settling tank, what will result is a low oxygen environment as a result causing a crash in the system. So these shrimps that are remaining will not continue to try to grow them in our system, but instead we'll use them to clean up some of our retention tank. As you can see, evidently, it has been quite polluted with fine particles at the bottom. So we hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope to see you again at RS Agriculture.